So the 10th movie in the Fast and Furious franchise, Fast X, is just a couple of days away from its release and <laughs> what better time is there than to post this video right now. If you've paid attention to the Fast and Furious franchise over the two decades now, it's gone from a crew doing heists and stealing cars, doing races, just some Grand Theft Auto shit, to going to space. And of course, our leading man himself, Dom Toretto. First of all, this guy ain't human. There's no way you guys will convince me that this guy is a freaking human being. He's either a robot or a cyborg, or he's a genetically enhanced human being. He's he's a mutant. I am a god, you dull creature. That's the only explanation for all the freaking things he survived throughout the Fast and Furious franchise. And of course, I'm going to highlight most of them, if not all of them, in this video. I don't have friends. I got family. <laughs> Just another Thursday. So this guy gets shot and he turns around because apparently now he's bulletproof. I gotta tell you. And now we have rage Dom. When Dom is enraged, when family is in danger, he will break through it all, no matter the obstacle. Even if that, that obstacle is the rock. <laughs> <laughs> I like how every time Larry can't believe that he actually did that stunt. another Thursday. You might want to put on your helmet for this one. What do you mean by that? You're pointing the wrong way! Am I now? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> and no logical human being is going to drive off this cliff but hey when you're dumb toretto and you are genetically enhanced you're superhuman like this is nothing but how ramsey survives is one thing i will never understand too but i guess when you're with dumb toretto you will always be safe don parcel fly your mistake thinking you're in america there's no fly <laughs> Now this scene is so insane and ridiculous that I just want to peek into the mind of Dom Toretto and the writers. Like how did they plan this scene and why did they plan this scene? Like were they like, so Dom and Deckard Shaw have a face off here, yeah, but not just a regular face off, a car face off. And then you I know, know what happens next. <laughs> Come on now, dog. 
come on man and then they don't get any concussion or they, they don't pass out nothing they just step out of the car and the rest of the scene continues Now look at the rock's face. This is the face of. It's the biggest piece of dog sh. Just check Letty's face and you will see that she can't even believe what is going on. <laughs> so what the definition of One man with one car is able to take down six other cars by himself because what? <laughs> He's freaking dumb Toretto. Making quick work of his whole crew as if it's nothing. Now we have super strength Dom. Look at this huge man and he's able to pick him up into the air and slam him on the car. Just unreal. Oh my god! to f9 which is released this year and just check this out this nigga has turned to tarzan <laughs> this nigga is literally dumb tarzan what the hell and each time it feels normal L look at what letty is saying well that was new how hold on bro how <sighs> Oh, super strength dome. Just check how many pounds that this nigga weigh and is able to pick him up and just toss. Look at how he's tossing these niggas up. Uh, I like how of all the rubbers and the stones and whatever, concrete falling down on them, not even a single one hits him. He should be dead. Yeah. I like this stunt. He throws the grenade bomb, it explodes, he gets inside a car and then get behind the wheel, then drives the car that was flipping due to the explosion that he created. Just like Tyrese said, they are invincible. <laughs> you get what I mean? Get down!
How in the hell are you not dead? We've taken out cars, trains, tanks. I'm not gonna even mention the submarine. Just to clarify, are you two maybe suggesting that we're what? I know that there are other ones that many people will have said hey you missed this part or you missed this scene but if you know those type of scenes that are just so out there and ridiculous with dom toretto or which any other fast and furious scene you can list it down in the comments below or tag it to me at my twitter sage and man <laughs> this fast x i believe is going to go even crazier than last one because they keep going crazier bigger and more ridiculous I don't know whether it will top off you know when they went to the moon unless they are going to race on the moon which i think eventually will come i mean in dom toretto just said that the studio wants to make a third film like they want to make the finale a trilogy maybe after that the studio will say again what if we make another trilogy out of the finale which is the trilogy we just made but anyway i can't wait to watch this fast and ridiculous fast x so early reviews have come out for the movie, others are praising you for being the best fast film in years. Some say it's definitely better than the last one, others say that it's ridiculously good. So for the most part, it's mostly positive. I've not actually seen a bad review saying that this movie is bad or the last one was better. <laughs> but we'll see. I will be bringing out my own review though after I watch it. So yeah, make sure you stay tuned for that. And um, maybe I will put out a review. But let me know in the comments below what you thought of this. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, turn on that post notification bell not to miss any new video. As always, Nadia Sage here. See you guys in the next one.